thanks to you and your ideas that we're actually sitting here together in the NIASA Reserve and officially launching the Gemfields Conservation Gemstone Program. I had a fascination with, uh, with nature and gemstones for me are part of nature, this is natural beauty. And uh, to find a way where the beauty of the mineral world, the gem of the mineral world can support and promote the gems of the living world that are protected area, it's uh, really a kind of simple idea that is not that easy actually to put in practice, but in my opinion that's worth you know, trying. And if gemstones can play a small role in helping both the communities and the conservation living side by side as they do here, that would be wonderful. What is the reason why, you know, uh, Jim Fields and uh, Panning Earth are, are supporting the Nyasalayim project? All you need to do is look behind me at the absolute spectacular beauty of the Nyasa Reserve. And really, we've come here for two reasons. Number one was to meet Keith and Colleen Begg, uh, who run the Mariri operation, and whom we have the pleasure and privilege of supporting uh, over a three-year program and having seen with my own eyes the work that they're doing, uh, it's on a totally different level and really quite incredible. The second reason that we're here is because we've had the long-standing ambition of trying to increase the amount of conservation work that we're doing, both in Zambia, where the emeralds are mined, but also in Mozambique, where the rubies are mined. And this is our biggest production pit at Monte Boys Ruby Mining. The, most of the rubies you see in our auctions have been produced from this pit. So the secondary ore and primary ore is directly transported to this plant. This is the Monte Boys Ruby Mining processing plant. We are feeding it around 150 tonnes per hour into the front end of the, of the processing plant. That then feeds into a DMS, which differs slightly from the way a jig would work or a rotary plant would work. We will also have a new project under construction, which is our new sort house. And then the process plant will feed directly into the sort house. During the past few days, there was some heavy rain and everything that was dusty was washed away. And actually, a lot of rubies are accumulated here. So this is probably the easiest place in the world in order to collect uh, samples. But uh, sadly, these samples are just, uh, they are nice in color, but they are actually very, very included. But for Gemology's point of view regarding uh, chemistry and uh, inclusion, you have quite a lot of stones that are useful for a lab. But for a mining company, it's not the same. So within a few minutes, I will be able to collect uh, probably about 100 grams of this uh, material that uh, then we'll be able to uh, bring to the lab in, uh, in Bahrain. Once we have removed the ore, we then backfill with the overburden and then replant um, local Mozambican saplings and rehabilitate the land to regrow a forest. As we are opening the pit, as we are extending our pits, we are backfilling. We are using the overburden removed and backfilling into the pit. At the same time, on top of that overburden, on top of that backfill, we will rehabilitate the land with our local saplings. So two of our pits have been completely rehabilitated. A third one, the current Magloto Pit 3, is currently under a rehabilitation process. I'm super happy that, you know, you took the lead and Gemfius took the lead into uh, conservation gemology and conservation gem mining. 
and uh, I think that this is the way to go and I hope that you will have a great success and that, uh, you know, thanks to your support, this place like uh, Niasa and some other place in Africa will be able to, uh, to thrive and then bring some positive uh, name and positive feeling to people who will yeah. wear African gemstones. Well, there's no doubt that if you, you're protecting a place as big as Nyasa, you are going to need loads of different uh, models, different partnerships. Uh, it, no single entity can, can protect a place of this size. And I think this is one of the last chances in Africa, indeed in the world, where we can try and stabilize and protect a wilderness on this scale. So it's going to need people like Gemfields who... Um, are doing an amazing job raising re revenue for government in, in the Kabul Tagado province, but can also do uh, and make a huge influence here in the ASA. Especially after losing 10,000 10, elephants, we need to gather all the forces of all the people who want, for any reason, who want to uh, you know, keep this place alive to, to gather and to work together in order to, to protect it. <laughs>